My name is Sean Yoro. My street artist name is Hula. We've only been here three days, but St. John has been amazing. Being from Hawaii, I love these tight-knit communities that, you know, everyone knows each other. Everyone's so hospitable from the moment we landed. It's been incredible. Um, not only that, but incredible weather. I know we got lucky, but this place is beautiful. Um, and even when the fog rolled in this morning, it was just so surreal looking along that water. So it all started about two and a half years ago. I had come across a picture of a red and white lighthouse with like this huge wall and then it it showed a time lapse of the wall and then it was you know a tiny little wall once it was high tide and I thought it was so fascinating because I always wanted to play around um, with different variables in the ocean so it was perfect of a place to kind of try out a new new idea and so I put it on my vision board and I printed out that photo and six months later um, I actually get an email from Discover St. John and they are just inquiring about um, getting me out here and it was just perfect timing. Just show, getting pictures of the wall that I'm painting now, um, you know, six months ago and seeing landing here two days ago and seeing it in person was just completely different because you don't realize how large, you know, the 25 foot tide change is. And once you are actually out on the water and it's literally an elevator that just keeps going up and down and, and I'm not able to control it at all, which is always tough. But um, yeah, it's been some challenging nights because we've had to be out there, you know, 2 a.m. in the morning to catch it at a right tide for me to um, kind of uh, work around the sketch and it was it was just really tricky to get used to but after three days of it now we kind of had the flow down and you know we've, we've been uh, kind of being more efficient at, at not trying to control the tides because of course that's impossible so so I always like to with all the figures that I paint um, I always like to have them interact with the environment specifically especially if it's a unique environment and you know I can especially here with the tides there's no other place in the world I could do a painting like this and have it being revealed twice a day naturally is just a, a, such a fun thing to, to kind of composite and play with the ideas so yeah it, the possibilities were endless when I was sketching for this project and um, I came up with this piece that it changes as the time goes by so you know from high tide when you can just see her hand to mid tide when you can barely see her face and then lower tide you can see her full other hand along with her neck so it kind of is such a cool um i guess uh way of looking at at the piece because it, it, it's really three different pieces all mixed into you know one six hour little time frame